Hi, if you are new here, I'm Kanitia, and if you're already watching my One Piece chill channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch episode 1030 of Anime One Piece, which continues the story, I guess, of Uta and Luffy. So let's get it, let's go. Okay, some windmills. A pledge for new genesis, Luffy and Uta. Okay. <laughs> the cows are so cute. Damn. Okay, so they kind of made friends with each other. Oh, I think this challenge kind of makes sense. The style of the buildings is so cute, like painted, very pretty. I guess that's what she meant when she said he is being persistent. Maybe she would also be jealous if there is another kid on board. Less attention on her, <laughs> less pampering on her. <laughs> mm, training at sea. I think it is the other way around. I think she's taking care of him. <laughs> yeah, I think she did say that she's two years older. They're having fun. Yeah, I think as far as I remember, like from the beginning of the manga, they were using this as their kind of main port and going on voyages and coming back. So this is their training at sea. Okay, some upper body. <laughs> I think when they climbed the cliff, they were there at the same time, so maybe again this is going to be a draw. Let's see. <gasps> it's a sea monster, not a rock. Holy crap! It really did look like a rock, man. Oh, wait, the music is so fun here. Well, you have to be reasonable too. I mean, it's good to be brave, but you also have to be reasonable. That was funny. Again, another bonding act activity between the two of them. 
<laughs> yeah, I think he looks the same as the one that uh, bit off Shang's arm, right? Yeah, interesting. She was running too, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, that's fair. Be free and roam the seas. Is she going to sing? <gasps> but Luffy at this point just wants to be a pirate. New Genesis. So he doesn't have that dream like King of the Pirates or Fighting One Piece or anything like that. So maybe Uta was one of the reasons. Okay, let's see. I want to explore all over the world, of course. Go a variety of places, meet a variety of people. He's doing this. And it, of course, food is very important. <laughs> yeah, but I guess this interaction with Uta Yeah, will be one of the reasons he thinks of a big dream, so to say I think that's a nice touch Oh, cute face I think there's nothing bad <laughs> in being spontaneous and thinking it up as you go That's cute. I think it kind of fits in the canon so far. With fillers of films like this, you never know like how canon you can interpret them. Most pride in. I think he, Luffy is actually more about tenacity, if that's the right word, than strengths. About never giving up and always standing up again. I guess from Luffy's eyes it would seem more unfair that they already have a child on board but they don't want to let him in since he is a child so from his perspective oh she's happy I think she does feel like he's her friend that's sweet He feels lonely now. He doesn't have a friend to play with anymore. Oh, that's so pretty. Sunsets are just the best. That was very beautiful. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, 
is this after that moment in the trailer? Remember, they left her somewhere uh, in the trailer for film Red. So now they all feel down. They don't have Uta on board. Luffy probably thinks she's <laughs> she's dead. <laughs> He is definitely sugarcoating this for Luffy. I'm curious what actually happened because in trailer it looked like they just left her behind and she was sad because of this. Yeah, Luffy is not stupid. He knows something something was wrong and he can feel their emotions. They all feel very like sad and depressed like all of them. Maybe we'll get the answer to this in kind of flashback in film Red. My theory was when watching the trailer that they had to leave her somewhere safe um, because Shang said like I did it for you, for your safety or something like this. Okay, let's see. But the scene looked darker, I think, in the trailer where they left her. Oh, Zara ah, and Queen. Wait, let's see. So they're showing us a bit of others' childhoods too. I love a soap suck. I like it. Is this like sh Shanks destroyed Elegia? At least that's what the newspapers say. And it did look like that again, uh, looking back to the trailer. I seen them all fine at this moment. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure the newspapers are saying that Shanks' crew destroyed a leg. And it seemed like Yeah yeah. Like in the trailer they were leaving Tot Musico, who is that? They were living in a place that was like burning and everything and seemed like Uta stayed there too. I think it must be like part of the plan. They're disappointed in him. Yeah, it doesn't sound good, but I think it's so part of the bigger plan in some way, like if it fits in the canon, like... Oh, they're going to have a nice interaction. Okay. It's so nice 
always have a moment between them. Ben is so sweet. <laughs> He came to Luffy like he worried about Luffy, wanted to talk to him. That's that's super cute. Ah, oh, now he remembers. Like, yeah, I had fun with Uta here. I just wanted to say that Shanks found that fruit and they said the bad guys. So maybe destroying Allegia was part of the huge plan along with finding the fruit and maybe other things. Ah, just the same guy still hanging around here. <laughs> oh, <gasps> is he going to beat them up? <laughs> that would be interesting. You'll think, okay. I have to become stronger to then meet Uta and show her how strong I am. Oh my god. <laughs> His childhood was so rough, holy crap, like everyone's in one piece. They did have time to beat him up pretty well. Did he use conquerors on them? They didn't. I think they would uh, fall unconscious if it, if it was full on conquerors. But I think it was implied. Oh, that's so sweet! I didn't expect to see so much sweet moments between the two of them. That's um, this makes me very happy. A bit, we, we know so little about Ben Beckman. I'm so happy to see, uh, even here in the filler episodes, some more of him. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, on very sharp rocks. I'll remember that. <laughs> A little flag? Oh, come on! It's cute! Oh, that, that's... That <laughs> like, I'm almost 30 and I would be so happy to have a little flag on my meal. That's cute! They are worried about the what he's doing here. Okay. Okay, we are back to present time. I think we placed it about after Vana. It would be nice to have a duo with Brooke just. <laughs> 
how is it playing and her singing. So Elegia is where she is now, but it was destroyed way back and it seemed like she has stayed here, there. Elegia. I think we got this all so far. So, sh <clears throat> wait, there is more. Let's see. That would be so cool. I love her style a lot. But judging by... Wait, let's see. So as a kid, she wants to be with her dad as a kid in her soul. But as an adult right now, she feels... How to say it? Salty that he left her. So she has these hard feelings for, he, for him. Okay. And, and he looks so intimidating here too. Okay. So basically, I think we got it all straight. Like looking for for this episode and remembering the trailers for Film Red itself. Uh, for some reason, Shanks has destroyed the Legia or kind of took part in it. Uh, we are not exactly sure what happened. We didn't see it with our own eyes. We only saw the newspapers. Uh, but it seemed like he had left Uta there even though it was completely destroyed but i guess and all the residents were killed judging by the newspaper but she was left there that is peculiar maybe i'm a bit wrong but it does kind of uh, fit into the puzzle <laughs> of this story so if she was left on a ledger and then she grew up there and now she resides on a ledger and now we are going there to meet her and she still has this dream, uh, but she has, um, how to say it, she's mad at Shanks. Okay, I, I can't find the perfect word. She's mad at Shanks for doing that. Uh, she thinks he betrayed her or something like that. Uh, so she has this dark feelings inside of her heart. And I think the trailer has implied that there might be something bad happening. I'm not sure if she can be... I don't feel like she would be the villain, but um, we'll see. I think she's more like... Could go in the wrong direction, so to say. Not a very good one. And Luffy will help her understand and uh, help her sort out her feelings towards Shanks. And kind of go back towards the light. Okay, uh, my wording was very poor there, but I think you got what I was trying to say. Uh, that would be it for this episode. I think we have one more. I've, I'm not sure if it's come out yet or not. Uh, one more filler episode for the anime itself about Uta. And then I'm still trying to find where I can watch Film Red because, yeah, it's... Um, it's not that easy, I can't really pay for it anywhere because I live in Russia, so... But if I find it, if I find a way to watch it, I'll definitely make a reaction. As usual, probably put like the subtitles and the timer so uh, we can watch, you can watch along. Okay, but that would be it for this episode reaction. Hope you enjoyed it. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and see ya! Mm -hmm.